everybody. Today I wanted to show you how to use TweetDeck. TweetDeck is another way of using Twitter. Now I know many of you are not even on Twitter because it intimidates you or you just don't know about it or it's just, you know, it just seems like while well, I'm on Facebook, why should I be on Twitter? Um, Twitter is very different than Facebook. I'm on Facebook as well as Twitter and, um, and I like both of them for different things. Um, I find Twitter to be like a big giant chat room. Um, some people don't use Twitter that way. Some people just get onto Twitter to say that they have a new blog post to let all their followers know right when a blog post is published or to tell them that they have a giveaway going on. I do use it for that purpose as well, but I like to talk to people. So it's a great way to chat with your bloggy friends, um, chat with uh, some of your readers who might not be bloggers but who are on Twitter. Um, it's a great way to share information if you really like somebody's post. Um, you can retweet what uh, they said, which I'll explain in a second. So let me just show you what I have on my tweet deck. Now these columns are flexible and you can change them around. So if I wanted to move the columns around, there's little buttons down here that I can highlight. This one says move the column left. So I'm going to move this because I want to see when I'm mentioned first, um, which I really don't, so I'm going to move it back. So right here it says all friends. These are all of the people that I'm following. And you can see that there's um, this box that comes up every time somebody tweets something when I'm working on a different application. I'll show you once that disappears. I shrink this and let's say I'm just like working on my blog. Um, when somebody tweets something, it will show up up here in the left hand corner. And if it's something I want to respond to directly, I can respond right here without even like leaving my blog post. Um, if I'm more interested in just being right on TweetDeck, then I'll open up the application and, and see what everybody's tweeting about. So here is everybody I am following. Some of these people don't follow me back. Some of them do. Um, here is where I have specifically been mentioned in a post. So um, I can see that somebody is responding to me. Direct messages is when you want to say something um, private to somebody. Maybe you want to send them an email and you don't want everybody else um, to see that message. So here you can see my private emails, which maybe I don't want to share those with you. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete the column, which will be good because I can show you how to open a column back up. So let's say I delete the column. And now I have made a new column here for myself to see who is newly following me. Um, for a while there, I just had no idea who was following me, and it's good to see who your new followers are, and you can decide if you want to follow them back, if you want to unfollow them, if you want to block that person, let's say it's a spammer, or like you get some porn thing coming through, and you're like, what in the heck is this? You can push block. Um, so let us let me show you how to use this. So let's see. Um, Here's Sarah, and she just said, thanks for all the love of her dining room vignette, which is fabulous if you haven't seen it, by the way. Now, let's say I want to reply to Sarah. I can go over here, and I can click on reply, and it automatically brings up her, like, address, her Twitter address. And then I can type in my message and say, it was so fab. And then I push return, and now she just got that message. Now, let's say that I want to retweet what she just said. I go over here on her picture and it gives me the option of replying, direct message if I wanted to send it to her personally and not have both of the people that follow us see everything, um, or I want to retweet what she said. Um, this is a really great option if somebody has just uh, shared a new blog post and you or a giveaway um, from one of their sponsors and you want to share it with your uh, followers, you can retweet. All you do push that little button and it says retweet now or edit then retweet. So you can just retweet it without doing anything. If you want to edit it, that just means you want to add your own two cents. So you could say, so fab, Sarah. And so she gets your little message plus her message to all of your followers, which I'm not going to send that um, right now. Um, and this is other actions. Let's say, let's say it's somebody that I'm not really sure who they are and I want to see, like, wait a minute, I can't remember their, their, um, their site. You can go here and it gives you um, all kinds of different options. If this, um, if this message was to two people, here, I'll show you over here. This makes more sense. 
So let's say I want to respond to um, design spotting to Lisa. If I want to respond to her as well as the other person, um, Sanderford Holmes, I could go here and I could click reply all. And what that's going to do is it's going to immediately put both of their Twitter addresses up here so I don't have to look them up. I don't have to click on each one individually. I can just quickly and easily respond to both of their um to the message to send to both of them. Okay, let's say I, I want to respond to a hashtag. Many of you don't understand what these are and have asked me what, what is the hashtag, what does that mean? So down here you can see that she has tweeted, um, Painted Room has tweeted, looking forward to Old Town lunch today and 3D meet with color expert. And then she has a hashtag, which is the pound sign, color mavens. Uh, let's say I wanna see what in the world that is. I just click on it, it's like a live link. And whoever the color mavens are, it'll show all of the different tweets that have this hashtag in them. Um, this is great if there is a Twitter party going on. You can see all of the different um, posts. And here, I'll show you. You can create a column. So up here, it has add column. It's just the plus sign. So I will add a column and it'll show you all the different groups that I have. If I wanna just have um, certain people, I've made a big bloggers um, list. If I wanna just see tweets from those people, I can use that group. But let's say I want to use some recent hashtags. So if I wanna see, like I went to Boston for Marshall's TJ Maxx headquarters blogging event. If I wanna see, um, ah, there's Sarah. <laughs> if I want to see uh, something from Marshalls and TJ Maxx, all I will do is click on that hashtag. And now it has brought up all of the different um, people who have tweeted with the Marshalls TJ Maxx hashtag. These are all people that are talking about Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So if there's a Twitter party going on, you add the hashtag. It's like a live link. And it's like entering in a chat room for all of you to see. Now sometimes hashtags are used in a silly way and they're not really used to, um, if they're not really used this way, you might just see somebody say, um, like, I'm such an idiot today, no memory, or, or something like that. This hashtag is, is just silly. It's not really gonna be a live hashtag that lots of people, well, I don't know, maybe everybody, you know, has those days. Um, but it's a way of being able to enter something in to Twitter um, with a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's stop. Okay. 